So our journey began at the Millbrook Proving Ground and took us through the UK to France, Belgium, Germany, Poland, Lithuania, Latvia and Estonia and last night we caught the Helsinki Ferry. Uh, we arrived at Rastila Camping and it was minus 5 with a wind chill of minus 13 and today we are travelling a further 280 miles to Luopio. Here we are in deepest, darkest Finland and we've just passed through the 2,000th mile milestone on our epic Arctic adventure. I'm standing on a frozen lake, believe it or not, here and what we're hoping to do tomorrow is find a lake where the ice is thick enough where we can actually drive the caravans and the motorhomes right across it. And then we set up, uh, set up north yes. um, through Finland and uh, we maintained a good steady speed and we made it up to the centre of the country. So if you're going to go anywhere, go to that one. It was absolutely fantastic. We found some toboggans, didn't we, around the back of the reception. Having an icebreaker next to you when you've got a car and a caravan on an ice road, it made it entertaining. Mm, it did, it uh, did. <laughs> we then chunted north a little bit farther and we ended up at Ranua. Yes. And uh, what did we do there? Mm. That's right, there'll be a nice cut here now. While, while we think, what do we do there? We then went to Renua Zoo Camping. The pitches were literally carved out of the snow. And when we pitch up, you can hear the wolves behind you. In the if zoo you... next door. Yeah. Next door. It... Kept you on your toes, made sure the door was locked at night. <laughs> Didn't want any late night visitors coming no. in. We passed Santa as well at the Arctic Circle. Oh yes, was... yeah, yeah. And it's not been even cold for you here. You should have been here in the latter half of January. Yeah. Yeah, yeah minus 37. Oh. <laughs> the weather here is much nicer than when you have cold at home. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. because you yeah. know, we don't have any humidity here. Yeah, only ice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> only ice. Yeah. And a lot of it. A lot of it, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. At least at the moment, we haven't, haven't had any snow coming down. Sadly, uh, Lee and I, a um, um, little hope for us being on the good boys list. Well, I'm on the good boys list, but apparently Simon's not. No. He's got no hope. No, no, I haven't got a prayer, Father Christmas said, so... Uh... Chilling at the ice 
<laughs> here we are temperature wise as you can see at the old scoreboard here this is minus four it's proper arctic conditions today so snowing steadily but the convoy is doing extremely well and we hope to hit Avalo sometime this afternoon When we reached Ivalo, we were joined by our good friends from the Caravan Motorhome Club, represented by none other than uh, Nick Lomas here. Hi guys. And uh, first thing we did, we went to Test World, and then really the, the fun started to begin then. Here we are at Test World uh, in Ivalo today, and here we have a big snow flat track behind us and we're going to be doing braking tests there with uh, a motorhome and with a caravan. We're at a very sunny test world in Avalo and we're currently testing the braking with the caravan behind. The aim is for us to go up to 35 kilometers an hour and do um, an emergency stop. Everything we're doing is being measured with a race logic box, and as you can hear, Nigel now is accelerating away. <laughs> Before we come to a stop. Braking distances are surprisingly short. We're on a, a frozen ice lake, it's covered with snow, and from 35 kilometers, the emergency stop, we, we come to complete standstill in under nine meters. Turns out that the Volvo towing the caravan can stop as quickly as their Golf at Tesla. I think even the guy there was surprised. He was double checking those distances because the Bailey Pursuit was the first caravan ever to make it to Tesla. And then today, what fun! Oh, amazing! Snow, snowmobiles, amazing! Yeah. You start off a bit gingerly, don't you? 20, 30 kilometers an hour, then 40 kilometers an hour, then 60, then 65. Then we found the sport mode as well, we by accident. Again, another Martin Dury masterpiece, fish chow and campfire behind yeah. us. But I'm going to be quite sad to go. I mean, it's been great here, I really have enjoyed it. It's, it's been great to have the crew up here. The vans perform very well. The combination of the insulation and the heating mm. means we've been very comfortable throughout the trip. It's, it's all worked out very, very well. And you can holiday your way at your pace. It's been amazing. It's been very comfortable, yeah. it really has, and they've been the, the perfect enablers for what's been a great holiday, a great adventure, and uh, we really feel we've captured, hopefully, the pioneering spirit of caravanning and motoring. Yeah, yeah that's right, definitely you have.